continuing with 40 days with the Savior. I'm actually driving up to Studio 5 right now and I'm kind of chuckling to myself because my hair is highest to the heavens. I swear, I'm so sorry. But anyway, I wanted to share a thought with you that happened to us yesterday. And it's really along the lines of the, the silver lining on whatever happens to us. And it was really amazing to me because my son came up yesterday afternoon and said, we've got a problem. And I said, what's up? And it turns out in our furnace room, he had happened to go in there because the breaker went off and found some droppings, apparently, of various sizes and sundries. And we couldn't figure out if it was an animal had gotten in or if it was our septic tank was overflowing, but it was in this little furnace room, really contained very little. And so I said, okay, call dad, let's see what we can do. Well, right after that, I had to go and take my daughter to dance for a few hours. And it looked like things were not emergency. It was good, we could take care of it when we got home. And so we got the septic thing in, in place just in case. Well, meanwhile, one of my daughters came home, decided to take a bath, and that water apparently overflowed and started to overflow it. But just in time, when my husband had gotten home, just in time for him to be there and to take care of it. So anyway, you might be saying, what's the good side of that? The great side is that we had a little tiny experience that was very doable, very stoppable, very handleable, where it was in a very small space, we were able to take care of it quickly and then turn off the water and then get a hold of the septic guys. But had that not happened or had it happened when we were gone or had my husband not seen that or we had not figured that out earlier on to check it, it could have been so bad and so gross. And so I was so grateful. I just was thankful last night in my prayers and this morning that it was like a little tender mercy. We had a little, a little glimpse of what could have happened and it was very manageable and sometimes I think we can look at life and say oh, this thing happened or I got a flat tire or whatever when instead it could have been an accident or it could have been something that was ten times worse and sometimes we don't see it as wow we just got this little thing and it makes us able to deal with it and say wow I can put some preparation stuff in place for next time so that that doesn't happen I'm not saying that I feel that way every time I get a ticket that I need to slow down that that's a real blessing because it reminds me to do that I'm not saying that at all being a connoisseur of traffic school up and down the valley but I am saying that sometimes if we take that lens and we say wow what's the blessing here what's the worst that could have happened we really can feel appreciation and joy about it and yes even joy about a possible septic overflow that did not happen to a, an nth degree so that's my thought for today hopefully you have a wonderful day getting focused on and immersing in the Savior during this beautiful peaceful joyful Christmas season and remember ladies that's our goal is this holiday season to get back to basics.